Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda here from Visualize DNZ. I hope you're ready for a creative challenge to kickstart your week because it's time for the Deal It Up Challenge. Now, if you're new to my channel uh, or perhaps haven't watched for a while, then this challenge is about sets of prompts. I pull a random prompt from each of my sets of cards and then we make whatever to those prompts. This week I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So first off I'm going to do my three sets of cards as per normal. So just a random pull. Just give them a wee shuffle and then pick this one just because. So today we are going to make a belly band or this week. Oops. Try and keep them in their own little piles. Oh, there goes the fire alarm. Hopefully everyone's okay and whatever's going on out there. Obviously things aren't okay or the fire alarm wouldn't go, but... Right, let's go this one. We are using pastel colours. Okay. And our third one. Is... Painty papers. Okay, cool. Okay, so to make it a little bit different this week, I'm going to introduce a fourth card, a fourth prompt. Um, I don't know if I'll do this on a regular basis, but I thought I just wanted to infuse a little freshness into this whole process. And I have these two sets of cards. They're actually cards that I bought when I went on a cruise in 1997. Um, and I had a bit of money left over, so I bought these packs of cards from the P&O Fair Princess. And I had them for years, never used them, and then I turned them into prompt cards uh, quite a, or oh, maybe three years ago. They're collage prompt cards, so they're things on them that to prompt a, a collage spread. But I thought, let's pick one of them, and I'm just going to go with the blue pack, just just because. Um, I cannot remember what's on them, so if we pick something that's not going to work, um, I reserve the right to redraw it. But let's just give them a wee shuffle and pick something and see what, what we can do. How we can work it into our three prompts here. I think it should work okay because you're just layering up with, you know, whatever we make here. So in this case a belly band, you're just layering elements up to create it. So a collage image, you know, something we might normally put in collage, shouldn't really be too much different. Okay, let's just go here. Oh, stripes. Okay, so stripes should be quite easy to incorporate, shouldn't they? Just to add a little bit of, little bit of something different to this week's prompts. So let's see, a belly band, I need a base for my belly band. Um, so I'm just looking at some bits and pieces I have down beside me. And I'm thinking, these were all sent to me in Happy Mail. Oh, I like the typewriter on the back, that's cool. Um, but I can probably take a snippet off this side, and it's all in pastel colours. So let's just grab a page out so I can measure. Pretty much, pretty much good. I just need to trim it down a smidge. So let's do that. Put those other ones back. And this will be my base. And I'll, I'll probably end up covering most, if not all of it up, but if we do have bits showing, then I've still got those pastel colours. So let's think about how we are wide we want our belly band. Do we want there? Just let's have a look. If I can keep... Hmm. That will take off some of that alphabet. Oh, we'll just make it narrower. We'll make a narrow belly band. We can always make it wider with what we put on top. So let's just go about there. And I think then we'll preserve the, the paper in the typewriter. So that'll be my base. And let's just have a wee check of this. Yes, we've I could have taken a bit more, but that's okay. 
happy with that. I don't know where I'll ever use the typewriter, but at least it's all intact. Okay, so back, oh, we do need to trim it down, don't we? Where's my scissors? Here they are. So I'm just going to cut a smidge off, a bit more than a smidge. I don't mind if it's a bit shorter than the page. It's all good. So that should be great. Okay, we need painty papers. So I'm hunting for my gel prints. Or I do have my packet of collage fodder that I've been doing in my 100 day project, which I've kind of abandoned for, for the moment. Um, we'll see whether I get back to it or not. I'm, I'm not too worried. Like I did about 60 days and on a trot you know all at once so i think i did pretty good for my first ever one um oh okay these hit the pastel vibe as well don't they in the main okay so maybe we'll just use some of those or bits of those so pastel painty papers belly band and we need stripes okay i'm not sure yet what i want to do with stripes Hmm, okay, let's just build anyway and we can think, process it as we go along. So I'm really liking this one. So I'm just going to tear a strip off. It's almost a shame to rip them up when you like them a lot. Take off that little crusty bit on the edge there, where it came out of the book. Okay, I'm going to tear off another strip. Um, I apologise in advance if I go a bit quiet. Um, thinking, thinking to myself. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to extend the width of this by putting my paper slightly over the edges there. Um, you want out snuggles? So hubby's just dealing with cats, deciding what they want to do. <laughs> so I'm just going to trim those to the height nice little snippets to add in something and I'm thinking maybe I'll reverse those so they don't look like they match because they actually match like that if I put them like that it's like they match maybe if I do it the other way around there yeah, just to add a bit more randomness in I think and if I, I can extend the width of the belly band by just putting those out from the edge a bit. So I'm not sure how to do that. Actually, yes, I do. I am just going to grab another bit of paper and glue that down. So this will essentially be my base. I'm sorry if I'm a bit all over the place. Um, I've had quite an emotional morning, so I'm kind of... Um, yeah, just not quite my normal self today. That's all right. It's, it's good to get a bit of crafting in, and um, that'll that'll help settle my soul down. Oops, because oh come on, Ugh. things are not going my way today. Um, yeah, it's good just to to zone out with a bit of crafting and talking to you guys on camera. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am filming this on Sunday, which is Mother's Day. So to all you mums out there, all your mum, all you mums at heart, uh, mums of animals like I am, um, mums in waiting, grandmas, whatever stage of life you're in, or whatever your personal circumstances, I wish you all a very happy Mother's Day. Because I think even if you're not a mum, you're still a mum at heart. And it's, it can be a very hard day, which is why I'm a bit emotional today. But that's okay. That's okay. Normally I'm fine, but today it just got to me.
and it didn't help that my hubby forgot me <laughs> which he's normally doesn't do he's normally excellent goes above and beyond and today he just completely forgot so that's okay I cannot complain at all I am very very blessed with my husband and when he did realize he'd forgotten he went out and bought me a card and a couple of presents which was very sweet and then at church there were flowers and at church for Mother's Day all the ladies get something um, and the older girls as well if there's enough left over the older girls get the same as well so today it was little posies of flowers and there was enough for the two oldest girls to have one each as well and one of them was super cute she's 11 maybe 10 or 11 and she said to me just as we were leaving she says apparently I'm a mum today which I thought was so cute just adorable she's a very very sweet girl and yeah she, she's just like apparently I'm a mum today and she's the oldest of uh, six, is it six or five? One, two, three, four, five, five. Oldest of five. Right, okay. So I'm happy with that. I think I'm just going to, I'm going to end up not having that same ragged edge. But if I tear it, I'm going to end up with a white edge. So I'm just going to cut the ins and outs and I'll just lose that ragged edge. That's okay. It's no biggie. And now I've solved the issue of how to extend it and make the belly band wider without sacrificing my typewriter on the back side of that uh, paper. And it, I believe it was from a magazine of some description, like a flow or something similar. Um, but yeah, I sent a whole bundle of pages and they don't have the name of the magazine as far as I'm aware on the pages because they're kind of like mini poster type things and I know Flo does have mini posters but there are a couple of other magazines that do as well okay liking that so far I still have no idea what I'm going to do for stripes um do, do, do. thinking thinking let's do a little tidy up while I think I mean I could bring in some of this other painty paper and do something or not um, let's have a look and see what I've got whether I've got anything that's stripy in the stencils I've got wavy but that's not quite the same thing as it um, Pretty sure there's nothing stripe related in there. I don't know that I've got a stripey stencil. Hmm. This is thinking time. This is delaying having to make a decision time. Looking through. I do have a zebra, zebra pattern. When I think stripes, I think vertical stripes, but we call zebra stripes, zebra stripes. So, we could go with that. I'm going to keep it out just in case. I can't think of anything else. Um, I will want a focal point on this. Um, 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 um. Just looking behind me. Looking for inspiration. Um, we could always go with flowers, of course. That's a bit small, isn't it? Better. Here's a, just the head of a flower. Um, and there's another head of a flower. Ones for one reason or another where I had to chop chop the rest of the image off. Um, that's quite lovely. Which way up does it go though? It goes that way because that's the rose at the top. It's 
I like that. Okay, let's go with that. That'll be our focal point. And these are from Artsology on Etsy. Just going to have a wee sip of my tea. It's freshly made. So enjoy it while it's hot. At least some of it anyway. Okay, can I think of anything better for stripes? I actually kind of like that. I think that's going to work. Now what colour would I like? Um, so I need paper underneath. Oh, if you can hear that, that is Snuggles. Snuggles did not go outside. She found my paper bag on the floor. So now she's trying to get into it. If you can hear that. Um, oh, where's my paper gone? I'm looking for my paper I put underneath. Oh, this will do. Okay. So what colour? We've got pink and blue, haven't we? And we've got this... I don't know what colour to describe it. Sort of... Hmm... Pinky beige, we've got blue and green. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if this will show up. The um, spun sugar. Let's give it a go. It might be a bit pale, but it's definitely pastel. I mean, I could do black, and black would be fine because we've already hit the pastel colours. But I just want to see. If this will show up enough it may not show up on the pinky papers but we'll give it a go so let me know if you um, like the inclusion of the fourth prompt whether you would like to see that um, occasionally or regularly or not at all um, let me know how you find it, whether you think it's a good idea or not. Um, I'm quite happy either way, um, whether you want it or not. Um, just let me know and I can either do it every now and then randomly or I could do it once a month or I could do it every week, have that extra prompt, just, just depending what you guys want. Um, or it could be like the, a prompt every week that's just optional. You know, you can add that one in if you choose or not. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm happy to go whichever way you guys would prefer. Now, I can see that it's come on this section. There's a very subtle hint of it on the painted paper, but that's okay. We've got the stripes down the centre. I'm happy with that. I think that's good enough. I think it's very pretty and kind of brings it all together. Okay, right, so we've got our stripes, we've got our painted papers, we have pastel and we are creating our belly band. So I'm going to pop this, I think, down here somewhere. Do I want any book page as well? Let's, let's just try it out, see if we do. bit of um this is from a recipe book an asian recipe book so i'm just gonna it's just the first thing i happen to grab for no other reason than just what it, my hand touched just a little peep of it there maybe you could bring it down slightly Don't like this cut edge. Let's see if we can just tear a tiny little bit off and make it a bit more random. Yep, I like that. But I do think I want to ink it 
with the um, the sponge sugar. Such a pretty delicate colour this pink, really love it. So soft and pretty. Good choice Lydia, good choice. That was a gift from the beautiful Lydia over at February and June. She's just an amazing friend and a wonderful, wonderful creative. If you don't follow her, um, you should check her out. February and June on YouTube and Instagram and Creating Together with February and June is her Facebook group. Um, she's full of awesome inspiration. She certainly fuels my, my creativity hugely. She's amazing. Okay, yeah, just a subtle little bit of pink on there. Let's put that on. And do I ink? It's already got a, a coloured border on it, the flowers. They come with this... Um, Again, it's hard to describe the colour, kind of ecru border around it, um, which I think ties in nicely with what I've gone, got going on, especially this pale pink in the background of the painty papers. So I think I will just go with it and attempt to do this without gouging my glue stick. With the cutouts that are in there, there's just a couple of cutouts, so just being careful around those. There, looks good. Right, definitely need something up here. I would love a butterfly. But, and that's a big but, um, I have not got them near my desk. I took them and cut them all out, because um, I bought some from Etsy, and I cut them all out when I was away from home, and I haven't unpacked them yet. But I might have some of my butterflies close at hand. Let's have a wee look. I've got my stack here of my printables. Um, some of them are test prints and some of them are my print-offs from my Patreon. Um, I'm having trouble flicking through them. Ah, there we go. So these butterflies are from my Patreon. Um, from April, I think. They were April's... No. Yes, April's. I'm pretty sure they were part of April's um, lot. So maybe one of these smaller ones. We've got a bit of yellow here. We could go a yellow one. Let's, let's cut it out. I need to cut it out so I can see. Or we've got the pink or more sort of purple tones there as well. I'm thinking the yellow might stand out a little bit better. So I actually forgot that I had um, butterfly printables on my Patreon. And when I was like doing a video last week sometime and it was like, oh, I have no butterflies. I completely forgot I had these, um, which is funny. But it's really nice to support other Etsy sellers too. So I was more than happy to purchase a set from an Etsy seller. Um, Art Craft Smart is the one I bought my set off. It's this pa one page of 25 butterflies. A bit smaller than this. Well, yeah, slightly smaller I think. Um, but a good, really good size and in multiple colours on the page which is very, very handy, so, you, you know, you pretty much have something to suit anything, which is what I was looking for. There's lots of kits out there that are single colour butterflies, but I wanted a kit that, um, you know, would have something for most situations in terms of a butterfly, so, yeah. 
and as I said I uh, haven't got it close to hand otherwise I'd actually show you I'm just going to cut the antennae off I can always add them in draw them back in if I want to sometimes I cut them out and leave a border around them and then ink the white paper um, but today I'm just going to chop them I promise the butterfly didn't feel a thing it's almost a bit big for the flowers but that's all right you get big butterflies so just wondering whether I want to label with that as well um, got some lovely pink ones here these are from nine of crones these little rectangle labels I ain't had an itchy eye, just had to give my eye a little rub. How does that look? I like that. Okay, let's go with that. And there's plenty of colour around the edges, don't need to ink. I'm going to put it more towards the left hand side and then the butterfly will come out towards the right. Oh, and now I've got hair tickling my nose. <laughs> I washed my hair this morning and I'm wearing it down. It's the, typically the only day I wear my hair down, not in a ponytail. <laughs> it's tickling my nose. Oh. It's an adventure, this crafting on camera business certainly an adventure oh that's pretty I like that I don't think I need something down here what we could add though I'm just going to grab out my lace bits and see whether we might like a little bit of lace on um just looking for a wee snippet maybe a little bit oh without making everything go everywhere have we got a small bit got a small bit of blue this is left over from a boho journal i did it's not pastel but that's all right we've already met the pastel requirements put it there we'll put it down there Or do we want something that's kind of more subtle, if you like? I don't know. What do you think, guys? Maybe if I put this out the way so you can actually see a little bit more, maybe. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Not feeling it. Got this bit of blue. No, not not right. Not right. This little lace. I like that more. I kind of like it up high. What do you think? But then I still feel like that makes this more obvious that there's nothing there. And if I hung it off the bottom a little bit, then it might hang off the page. Okay, let's just put a little bit along the bottom there. Decision made. Let's just do it. Yep, put that back in. A little strip of, one day I'll use that strip of blue on something. I used the majority of it as a journal page trim for my Boho journal, which I think is finished, but I've never actually listed it or done anything with it. I need to check it again and do something with it, make it available. 
I think I keep looking at it and wonder whether I should take it further than what I have. And I can't get my container shut. Oh, there we go. Fighting with a container. Right, let's glue this on. And then I think we are pretty much done with our belly band. Must be still plugged because the glue ain't coming out. Come on, play nice glue. Why aren't you coming out? I've got wet glue on my fingers, so there's wet glue somewhere. Ah, there we go. And I'll just have to trim the sides a little bit because the sides are a funky shape. Uh, I just cut the lace straight. So once it's all dry, I'll go back in and make it sort of fit better. Okay, I need a little bit of glue along the top there. There, that's better. Right, and there, my friends, is the, the belly band. My belly band for this week's prompt. So let me just pull them out as a refresher. Reminder of what we did. So we have our three standard prompts, which were belly band, pastel, and painted papers. And of course you could interpret this as using like chalk pastels or oil pastels or something. You could interpret it that way. And then we've got our additional prompt of stripes which I did the stenciling which is mostly covered up but that's okay there's a few spots and that they're there so I meet it whether you can see them or not um so there's our I'm just getting out of the way so you can see um that's my belly band for this week's deal it up challenge I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you find it inspiring and please do let me know what you think of including that extra fourth prompt from our pack and I mean if you want to do it regular basis then I've got two packs and it's what 52 cards in a set so that's 104 additional unique prompts I'm not saying they're completely unique to this set um, because they were created years apart but pretty much you're going to get a huge number more uh, options to mix things up and keep things fresh uh, so there we have it guys have a fabulous week thanks for joining me uh, tag me on social media if you make something for the Deal It Up Challenge. I'd love to see what you do. Uh, and hashtag Deal It Up Challenge. And that's how I'll find it. Okay, thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye.